Hi, I'm Alex, and this is my How to Get Out of Trouble series with the Forehand Roller. So what exactly is the purpose of the Forehand Roller? The Forehand Roller is used by many of the pros. Let's say if you have a low ceiling, you have ghost branches or something, um, the forehand roller can come into play real nicely, or if you're tucked in and you have the basket that's far to like the left or something, or the far to the right, depends on your left hand or backhand, then that's when the forehand roller can be used. So there are two types of forehand rollers. The forehand roller is just like a forehand. You hold it like the forehand. You throw it straight up and down, maybe with a little bit of tilt, and it'll roll straight, and then eventually finish off to either the left or right. The next one is the cut roller. Cut rollers are used like getting around trees and stuff. You can either go to the left, let it finish out, or you can go straight and maybe even finish to the right. So as you can see, I'm basically about 150 out from the pin, and I have this wide open gap right here. Now, it slopes up a little bit uphill, so I have to put a little bit more spin on the roller, and I want it to go straight and eventually curl to the left. So I carry three discs with me right now. I have the triple X, that's going to be slightly overstable. I have the Vandal that's going to be understable. And I have the Explorer that's going to be straight. So put this in your notes, the fact that an overstable disc wants to go straighter and may even turn to the right. But an understable disc like the Vandal likes to go straight but quickly curl to the left. So here are some shots I'm going to demonstrate. So by the way, I wanted to land basically where the gap starts. And I want to not have up and down but have angle, as you can see. And I want it to land straight, basically up and down and let this roll straight and then curl. Next I have the Explorer. I'm going to put not as much of a angle, but maybe a little bit more up and down and try to hit the same spot and make it go straighter and get closer to the basket. Now I have the triple X. This will roll the longest and the straightest, and if I'm gonna throw hard enough, it would actually finish it right. All those shots, as you can see, are inside the circle. And so the Vandal, um, you can tell how it cut, wanted to finish early and wanted to stop rolling early. So I'd use that one more like of a cut roller type disc, if I, especially if I want to get far to the left. The Explorer, however, well, it's longer and straighter. It still finished to the left, but not as much. And the Triple X roll the longest and the straightest. And I put a lot of power on it, so I didn't manage to go to the right and still went to the left. But I'm closer with the Triple X than I am with the Explorer and the Vandal. This is where the Vandal finished. I'm about 35 feet. The Explorer is over there. I'm probably about 25. And the triple X is right here, so I'm off to about 25, 20. Um, I didn't throw any cut rollers, but basically the cut roller, um, if you wanted something that goes to the right, the triple X will finish to the right, and something like the Vandal or something more unstable will finish to the left. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this video helped you with your scramble game and even your forehand roller game. The next scramble series video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be me going over like what's the right shot for each situation. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below. It benefits me and also benefits you to watch my new videos that's coming up soon. And click the bell too so you stay notified when I upload a video each week. Stay safe and thank you for watching.